Hey everyone, welcome back to my stack component series. This is part three, where we're gonna be creating a UI just so that we can display all the stats. Um, as we saw in the last part, the debugging was um, starting to get pretty long if we wanted to check everything. So it's just gonna be a lot easier if we can open up a menu, take a look, see all the stats that are appearing, make sure that they are doing as they're supposed to. So we're gonna go ahead and hop into that. I did wanna mention that I did have like three images I imported. They're nothing crazy, they're like three, just simple stuff I made like on Figma in like 10 minutes, uh, just so that um, at least there's some type of image other than those like green blocks. Uh, but anyways, uh, we'll upgrade the UI as like we go on. But again, this is not like a design tutorial. This is strictly on functionalities of the stat component and then building upon that. You could definitely upgrade your stats uh, UI so that it looks beautiful. Uh, but for this, we're gonna dive into making sure it works. So let's get into it. Okay, so one thing I wanted to show is that I did do a live where I was trying to build just like a base version to start off with. So what I ended up creating um, is just a very simple stats overview. So you have the stats, you have uh, the name of it, you have just the player name, level, and XP. And I broke it down into two different things where we have the header on top and then we have all the stats that we populated on the bottom. So we're gonna kind of do something similar to that. However, I'm gonna remove the the image because honestly, I don't I don't really want to include this in in here. We're not really doing a design <laughs> tutorial, uh, but this is just to make sure that we have everything appearing and just make sure to design it as you so please. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get working on creating something similar to that. I'm not actually creating like a one-to-one -one that I previously made in that live uh, because the blueprints were horrendous to look at, but it was to give me just a rough idea to get the stats to connect. So I have a bit of an idea. Usually I just whip up something about 20 minutes prior, uh, but I felt like I should probably do some digging to make sure that I get the UI to work at least. So before we create the UI, I am gonna rename the primary and secondary. So thanks to uh, one of our guys in our Discord, I think it's, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it well, but it's like se Seppuku, um, so something similar to that. Apologize if I butchered it. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna rename this to attributes. Yep, yep, yep. It's gonna take some time. Dun, dun. And then we're just gonna rename this to stats. So we'll have attributes and stats. Now I know level XP is under the attributes, but honestly, I would rather just do it like this instead of primary and secondary. I really, really hated that idea. So uh, we also need to go in here and just rename this stuff. So attributes and then stats. Now you also have to rename all of these functions. I'm not gonna do that in this video, but just um, I'm gonna rename all of these uh, to stat check, uh, or not stat check, attribute check, add attribute, subtract attribute. It's just gonna take me time to like speed through and do all of that. So just know that I will be making those changes. If you see that differently, um, just make sure that you change it accordingly or match your own stats, do what you do. Saving just to make sure everything is working. And all right, now let's go into making our UI. So in here, I do have just three images. They're very basic. Um, just whipped them up in Figma in like 10 minutes, nothing fancy. Now let's create our widget. So we're gonna go into here, widget, type in common. We're gonna use common user widget, widget blueprint. Let's just call this like player stats. I'm not making a like player UI or any type of um, like actual HUD. I'm only making the stat overview so that we can see the stats. So do keep in mind, um, let's see, I'll, I'll do a border because typically you're probably not gonna wanna do a canvas because you're gonna make a canvas on top of the um, 
you don't want to make a canvas on top of another canvas. So if you have a player HUD, you would want to like push the over widget or you switch them. Um, yeah, don't stack canvases. Uh, <laughs> so with that border, let's do throw up this background. Boop. So we got this over here. And then what we're going to want to do is kind of what I showed you is now we're going to want to line everything up. We're going to want a vertical box because we want everything to go up to down. And then vertical box also allows us to have more than one thing because you can only have one, one child under a border. Uh, let's get rid of padding. Actually, no, let's change it to like 45. Is that good? Um, oh, yeah. I don't know why I made it curved because it just made it like more difficult to line, but it's fine. Okay, so now, first things first, we are going to need to do, um, let's do our header. I want to separate the two because of how I'm going to set up XP. So we're going to want to now go into here. We're going to want to create just a standard widget. Doesn't need to be anything fancy. We're going to name this the O. Let's just call this stats header. Terrible with naming, so uh, name as you wish. Uh, we'll do another border. We'll throw that down. I I don't think I actually need anything in here. So. From here, let's add a maybe a horizontal box is that to go left to right get rid of padding because it just defaults to four two so just keep in mind um from here we're now going to need to have our stats information so let's go into creating yet again another widget so we're creating a widget in a widget in a widget comes real handy. And this is going to be our base for our stats. So we're going to just, um, widget blueprint stats info. And in here, we want, I think we're going to be doing this again, border number three. And let's throw in this image. And let's grab some text. Nope, let's use common text. D duplicate. Oop. Duplicate. Oh, okay. No, I let wrap that in horizontal box. Now copy. Okay, there we go. Skip to step. Hit that fill button. Put these in the center. Cool, cool, cool. And then what I'm also going to do is just like a spacer. Right here. Right here. That's not copying the spacer. Copy, paste. And let's hold shift, highlight all, hit that fill button. It'll balance everything out. But for this, the spacer, the fill, let's decrease it to like 0 0.1. Um, Honestly, I don't have a good description to give you on fills and maybe I'll research to kind of give a better description, but I kind of think of like percentage like 0 0.1 is just like 10% of the widget. So like 0 0.6 would be end up covering 0 0.6 if you uh, spaced it out and didn't have the rest of the widgets. Um, 
that's what my mind goes, but I can give you a proper de demonstration or explanation later. Um, let's do a little spacer in the beginning and just do like 0 0.01 and 0 0.05. Just because that way there's always a space between the two. This one, 0 0.01. Is that really what it did? 0, 0.0, oh, there we go. Okay. And we should be good here. Awesome. We also need to make both of these a variable. We're gonna call this txt stats, or txt name, uh, name. Go into here and we'll do text block. Um, let's just put like a value of like 1200 and we'll txt value. And then with these texts, what we're going to do is create a style. So that way we can adjust the font. We can adjust the text size, color size, all of that stuff. Super easy because I know at some point we're going to need to do that. So let's go into here and let's just do stats text size, save that. You're gonna go into here. Uh, sometimes it opens up the event graph. Don't really need it, but let's change this to like 35. Uh, make sure to select a font because it doesn't select one by choice and then you'll get some weird stuff going on. Uh, if you import your own, you'll be able to see it here. Um, I'll, I'll show how to do importing at like a later time or like in its own separate video. I'm not gonna do that in here. Let's see, color, let's make it white. Um, yeah, let's give it an outline. If we go back over here, wow, it still looks pretty, pretty small. Maybe I should do custom. And then let's do like, what's the size of a screen? Like, I don't know. Wow, this is gonna look really weird when, okay. Two, 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 cool. So it'll have the name, it'll have the value, we're blocking off everything, okay, cool. I'm gonna save that and close it. We could always go back later and perfect. In the header, Let's get stats info. Did I want a vertical box instead? Let's replace this with a vertical. There we go. Okay. And paste, paste, highlight all three, hit that fill button. Awesome. Okay. So that's technically what we want to do. First one is going to be How am I going to want to do this? For the header, we're going to want to create a text. So let's, now let's do this. Set text. name and I think we didn't do the other one as a variable yep set text promote that probably just do txt value txt name you don't really have to, you can do whatever naming you want. And what I'm gonna do, let's copy, class function, set text. Or let's just set name, mm, slash value, can you do a slash? Hmm. 
delete, delete. Plug that in. Name. Value. Kind of making this as a go, because we probably don't need this. Like, I don't know if we need those variables, actually, because... Well, I guess if we're wanting to manually set, so like if we're setting the name here to Mr. Boutier, um, if I go over here, stats info, did I not expose? I didn't. I don't think I need to expose. Uh, I maybe figure it out as we go okay go back into the header we're going back and forth a lot but it is what it is name mr boutier go over here we don't really need to set anything because we want to connect it Let's do another function, set level and XP. So we're gonna get, maybe if I rename these, we'd understand, player name. Level. and XP. So level, what, what did we name this set name value? Set name value. XP. This is very manual. I'm not liking it. Um, we could probably pass along the enum name. If we did I don't know. The header is going to be very different than the rest of the stats. So maybe I'll just deal with this as of right now, because honestly, it's not level value. XP value. But XP, I want to format. So actually, we're going to change these. Format text. And what we want to do is have the XP value over max XP. And you just do those like curly brackets while uh, typing and anything between two curly brackets will appear as things that you can enter in the format text. So I'm gonna actually delete this XP value, plug in XP, plug in max XP. No. Turn these into floats and plug that in. There we go. That looks a lot better. Okay. And that way we don't have to format in the next thing we use. And then for this, let's do the same thing and turn that into a float and just plug that in. Okay. Let's put a colon at the end to drag that down.
drag that down. Okay. That's nothing is getting constructed. So we'll be able to set that. So we're going to call this once we create our widget, we're going to call our header widget. We're going to set the level and the XP. Okay. So let's go back into our overview. Let's now want to change this widget. So I'm actually going to copy this because our header is using this, but I don't want the rest of the stats to do that because I have a separate. So I'm going to control D and we'll just do. Hold on. I'm going to name this stats header. Header info. There we go. Renaming also categorize these a bit better, but okay. So now let's go into, I think this is header info. Okay, cool, cool. Open up stat info and then in the border, I'm just going to be changing an image to my other one here. But now I have to change all of these spacers. <laughs> so I'm going to do 0, 1, 0, 1. And then name. Let me move this to like, what's that? 60%? 60. This spacer and this one, I don't know, 0 0.3, 7. Two five. Okay. I'm playing around with values design as you so choose. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. As long as you have two texts, one with a name, one with a value, you could go about doing that. Uh, since I'm trying to also make it not look completely awful, which it still kind of does looking at this. Uh, but nonetheless, I'm, I'm not going for pretty. <laughs> okay. We have our header. We can now have the ability to set our XP and our level. So we should not need to touch that. And then now we have an image for all of our other stats. They should have the same functions, set name, set value. And we also expose these to on spawn. So now let's go about creating, or I think first thing we have to put in our header. So wait. I need to get better at naming. There we go. Wow, that is absolutely hideous. Um, I wonder, can I do a vertical box inside of a vertical box? Because I want this to hold a certain 0 0.4, 0 0.6. I feel like I could do a better image. I think at this point, I'd rather just have no image there because stretching it out made that button look awful. Okay, we'll deal as is right now. Over here, now that we have constructed we now need to be able to pass along our stats. So in order to do so, upon creating this widget, what we need to do is make sure we can get our attributes and our stats pulled in. To pull those in, we'll need to pull in the component itself. Uh, that way we don't have to set too many variables. So let's 
add here stat component stats and we want to also expose that on spawn and if we go into our stat component now let's yeah blank area let's do like the one key when we create a widget player player stats you'll see stat components now available and you can just do self another thing is if you are creating this widget in anything else what you can do is you can do get player character and then you can get component by class and then you could just filter by stats or stat system sorry whatever you named it and then you can plug that in so then if you create you can make sure that you attach whatever component it has and that also means you don't have to necessarily create the widget inside of your stat system because if you're creating widgets you probably don't want to do it in something that's not centralized but for this video, I will be doing a debug to create it because I'm not actually going to show you guys like an entire menu system in here. And then we just want to do add to viewport. So let's just see if doing that works. Press the one key. Nice. OK, so it appears. So that worked out. We're all good. Now let's go back to our player stats. We want to grab our header. What did we name the function? Set level and XP. Set level and XP. We got our three values. We can also now grab here. We can do attribute. Oh, sorry, I didn't rename all the functions. Um, one second, I'm going to rename all the functions. All right, just letting you know I used the word attribute and stat. I just renamed all of them so that we could do the, st the stat and attribute checks super easily. So now that we have that, let's go back into our player stats. We're now going to do a stat check. Copy, paste, copy, paste. And because we in our header, we want to set our level XP and max XP. That's why I'm grabbing three of them. Uh, we want to make sure that we can get all of these values. So we'll do this. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Attribute check. Copy, paste, copy, paste. Since this is a lot of UI work, I'm not like going into a lot of detail. Um, However, if I skip over anything and you guys need any further explanation, feel free to comment. Let me know. Uh, I feel like I am explaining what is necessary, but I know that sometimes things can get overwhelming. So let me just do that. OK, cool. All right. So with this, we now have our header. If we go in here, press one. We got all our information. Um, let's do like a quick. Uh, debug thing. So I'm actually going to promote this to a variable. Uh, this is only for debugging purposes. Um, stat uh, widget. And then delete that. And then I'm also going to grab this off, do a validated get. And if it is not valid we'll create if it is valid we never want to create a secondary widget uh, this is just so that my to debug key we're going to do the same thing validated get and then if it is valid we want to remove from parent and then we also want to set this to blank Again, just for debug purposes is why I'm setting it here. It's so I'm able to close it and then we can gain XP, reopen it, and I can show you guys. So pressing the one key, 
pressing two. Ooh, crashed. All right, so Unreal crash, but it did work. I didn't change any, oh, wait, go in here. One and two work. Looks like something's disconnected. So let's go back into our head editor. Let's go back into player stats. Oh, looks like we lost everything here. So let's recreate attribute. Um, stat component. Do we still have our debug? Okay, so that's still there, but for some reason the widget lost everything. So we're gonna do our attribute checks. We're gonna also grab the header set level and XP. Not gonna edit this out because it's actually really common for things to crash sometimes and um, not gonna try to hide that fact because I'm sure you've all experienced it yourselves. So XP, max XP. Let's try that again, shall we? Press one, two, I'm gaining a level. We've gained, now we're level three. Awesome. So stats are connecting by doing stat checks. Now, the next thing is we want to do all the other stats, but we obviously don't want to set them all individually like we just did. Um, you don't necessarily have to do all of them individually, but for the XP, I found this just to be a bit easier, especially because my name is fabricated because um, I don't have anywhere to store a player name right now and not going into creating that and adding more to this video, but that's what we did manually. Now to a less manual part for all the other stats, what we wanna do is in this vertical box we have here, Let's create this to a variable so that we could use it. And we'll do stats container. We want to now populate all of the stats into um, this container. Uh, let's actually change the fill to 0 0.7. And then I'm going to change this to, yeah, okay, cool. Let's go back over here. So in vertical boxes, you can add create widgets and then you just add to child connected to that vertical box so you're just creating widgets inside of a box and then you can create as many as you need or, and then you can also set them to fill so that they will fill up the entire container so what we're going to need to do now is very similar to how we set here we're now going to want to just set them all manually. So if we were to open up, which I think it's stat info, we have set name and value, and we're going to want to create a widget and set the name and value to the name of the enum, and then the value of the, of the stat. Let's, I don't think we need to have that open anymore. But what we need to do is if we were to pull off the stat component, um, let's see. Oh, I forgot it's attribute. We can't use maps in order to loop because nothing is going to loop because they don't technically have like um, an index. So they technically have keys and that can't be used in loops. So, the way that I have thought is that in order to pull the specific attributes we want, let's actually create variables of those enums and we're just gonna list the ones we want. Now it can't that can seem a bit manual, but for me, that's kind of what I thought about doing it so that we only pull in the stats that we want to list. Um, boom, boom, boom. So we're just gonna do attributes. Now, if you end up wanting to show like every single stat, you could go ahead and honestly do do what you do. Um, but I'm I'm cherry picking some stats because I don't want to show max and um, I don't want to show max health and health. So health would be like your current value, which isn't like a static um, stat. 
that changes depending on whether you take damage or whatever it may be. So you'd be able to set that accordingly. And then from here, let's change these to arrays because we want to contain multiple stats. Hit compile so that we can actually add to the array. I'm going to move this up for a second just because we're going to be adding things. Um, I already did these three, so I just want strength, agility, and intelligence. And then for here, I want max health, attack, armor, max mana, and mana. Okay. I'm going to put that back at the bottom because I prefer it there. Okay. So now we have these arrays. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that for these arrays, we are um, only using the ones that we specifically want out of this stack component. So instead of <laughs> using the attribute from the stack component, we're going to loop these because now we can do that. And then in the stack component, we're going to do a attribute check. And we're just going to plug that in. So now we can find whatever attribute is here. And then we want to uh, is it a create Sorry, my brain lagged. Create widget. From here, we're going to want to create the stats info. We got the name. So what we need is we need the enum name. And one of the things that I actually found that was pretty annoying with enums is you can't like plug that in and you can't actually like convert to name you have to like what was it it was like enum to string and then and then it's string to text because if you end up doing um enum to i think it's like enum to name or something of the sorts then it ends up just taking um like the default value of the the enum variable and not the actual one that you typed in. Uh, I don't know if that actually made a lot of sense, but I hope it did. And then for that, we can just, nope, nope, put that back in. Oop, plug that in. Uh, yeah, you can also format this differently if you ever want to. So if you don't want um, fractions, so like max fractions, zero. So for that, that will now create these three strength agility intelligence and the next thing we need to do is we need to make sure it's added into this container so we're going to do add to child or add child to vertical box and from here we're going to now need to can you plug that in i think so yep and then from here, vertical box, we want to now set horizontal alignment and set vertical alignment. So the vertical and horizontal alignment is these fill buttons. So in case you didn't ever actually read these names, uh, that's what these fill buttons are. Um, let me move that up away because I don't like lines going through things. Okay. And then we need to what's it? Add to viewport? I think so. Let me double check. Press one. Okay, no, no, you create. You don't have to add to viewport. I didn't think so. That's why I had to double check. Okay. But if you actually notice, we had all three pop up just like we wanted. 
So we have strength, agility, intelligence. Granted, it's not the most pretty looking thing, uh, but we have all of them. And they all have the same value. Did, did I set the default values to all five? I did, that's, that's fantastic. Um, that does not help with debugging. Okay, <laughs> let's try this again. Okay, so we are getting the, the correct values. Now we just have to do the rest of the stats. So just like we did with here, we want to do it again. So actually what I want to do is, can I collapse this to a function? and name this create stat widgets. And if we did loop on complete, can't wait, sir. Oh, okay, okay. Hold on, we gotta backtrack a little. They're different enums, so you can't do that. But I do this though. Set no, 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 create stat widgets. I'm just looking to do the least amount of work possible. I know this is not the most concise tutorial because part of it is me making up as I go, but I hope it kind of shows you just the process of creating. My thoughts are not always um, the greatest. Uh, let's copy and paste this over here. And instead of attribute check, we're doing stat check. Plug that in. Okay, so that should create all. Let's go into here. There we go. We got all of them. But also, let's go back. So it, it's technically done, but I want to, I don't need the header. I want to go into here and I want to get a spacer and fill for like 0 0.2. And since we did pre-construct, you can see everything populating here. So we have all of our stat values that are appearing, which is beautiful. So now that I've done that, let's go in here. We're pressing the one key and there we go. And let's actually, if I stretch this out, yeah, okay. So one of the biggest things about UI is also making sure that when you scale it, it doesn't look like, um, it demorphs, so also important, but luckily we didn't actually do anything super complicated. It's just, it was put on a border instead of a canvas. Uh, and that's just because um, I don't have a player HUD. So if you have a player HUD and you're adding the widget, uh, you either push it to the current HUD or you have it switch to another um, active widget. But with that, we now have a UI to demonstrate our stats. Um, we could even go as far as to change it to display all stats so that um, you don't have to go about isolating them like the way I did. Uh, because technically speaking, I could have like level XP and then I would have like max XP right below level. Uh, but honestly, I'd rather just have XP displayed here because now if I were to hit two, uh, let's level up. We see all my stats updated. I'm level four. I have my max XP uh, as well as the other XP. So I hope this tutorial was helpful to you on just connecting these stats to a UI. Now, I did also display that you can create the widget wherever, as long as you can get the component of the character, you would be able to display it. Now, there's a couple things in the, oh, I think I closed the, I don't know, player stats. Okay, okay. 
So a couple things that I was, I'm still not a fan of, and I may revisit a later time, is I don't like how the header is set up. So this still feels a bit manual for me, but granted, if you do complicated designs, this is probably what you would need to do um, instead of having all of these populate into a vertical box. Because like I said, it depends on how you're structuring and if you want to make it look beautiful, um, sometimes manual comes into that fact. So just keep in mind on what you want to do and try to make it as efficient as possible so you're not duplicating duplicating the same work. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm glad we finally have a UI so that in the next videos when we make some changes, it'll be a lot easier to debug. So yeah, catch you next time.